over down in the hills at Kenilworth. Now, beside me, I've got Jesse. Jesse is a local who lives near me, and um, he's in the winch truck scene and knows a lot of these hills. So we've got him as our guide on this trip. And I've also got another passenger you haven't yet met before. It's me up my dog. She's a German short-haired pointer, loves camping and four-wheel driving just as much as I do. I've got a GPS point in here uh, in the VMS that I'm following right now to go meet up with the lads and um, then we're going to hit the tracks and get straight into it. Hey boys, you got a copy? Hey, Shorto, where you at? Oh, there you are, there you are. Great time you turned up. <laughs> Better late than never, boys. Look, I'm going to um, just jump in the front here. Follow me, let's get straight at the tracks. I like it, no mucking around. Yeah. Make it happen, make it happen. A uh, few boys are pumped. We've got some pretty good tracks worked out for this weekend. I'm absolutely excited for this week. <laughs> What do you got lined up for us, mate? What do you know? Mate, Kettleworth is famous for big hills, and um, mate, I reckon we'll sample a fair view of them. On this trip, we've got a cracking crew. Our convoy consists of Shauno and local Jesse riding in Sooty. We've got Rocket from Wholesale Autos, and of course, he's in the big 79. There's Barney from Legend X in the Hilux, and then there's myself in the mighty D-Max. Our plan is to head out the back of Kenilworth and take on all the tough tracks through the inbuilt state forest. We'll also be enjoying a picturesque camp on the banks of the Mary River. And finally, we want to make it out to the refreshing Bulumba Creek waterhole via some serious action. We're expecting steep tracks, plenty of mud, and most importantly of all, a lot of fun. The Imbil State Forest has a full range of vegetation with rainforests. We've got eucalyptus trees, creeks, and other spectacular scenery to take in as we head deep into the hills to tackle some tough tracks. Hey Barney, how do you keep an idiot in suspense? No idea, mate. <laughs> this would be your neck of the woods, would it, mate? Yeah, get up here a fair bit whenever I can. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of stuff up here. Every time we come, we find something new. Yeah, that's a go. That's a go. What sort of terrain do you find? Up here, I've, I've actually haven't done Kenilworth before. Have you done? You get lots of like, lots of mud, lots of rocks. Kenilworth's you... actually pretty good. You can go from real soft river sand to real slippery clay, and then you got some hills that are just 100% rock with big steps in it. So yeah, okay. A bit of everything. It's a bit of everything. We've seen the vehicles. You reckon we'll go alright? I reckon we'll go alright. Yeah, we've sort of got a, a wide range of vehicles, but um, they're all pretty capable, so it'll be good fun. It's not long, and we're already upon a challenge to get the day started. There's a mud hole in front of us. It's always a bit concerning when you're the first one through a mud hole. This mud hole is pretty deep and the base is fairly sloppy, so let's see how Shauno goes. He doesn't have enough momentum to carry him through, but there's still enough traction to reverse. It's time for another go. No good. He's going to need to give it some berries. Right. Boo! All right. <laughs> Little step in the middle of that one. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> A lot of people take sticks with them, prod the water. Other people will wade through this. All we do is send Shawno through first. <laughs> One more go. Nah, unfortunately it's just not happening. There's quite a lot of debris and it's not helping the situation. He's got held up and there's no traction at all now. We need another solution here. All right, let's have a winch. Yeah, good call. He's asked for the winch, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. 
Now, I found a solid, good tree to anchor from, but it's a little off to the side. With the tree protector around the base and the dampener on the rope, we're ready to go. All right, got the winch on. Should be a pretty straightforward winch, but it's a bit of a skewer angle. Now he's moving forward once again, but we're going to need to keep an eye out for those tyres being pulled in against the bank. We want to avoid rolling the tyre off the rims or puncturing the side walls on any roots that might be sticking out. There's absolutely no traction all the way through this winch pull. That's slippery, man. That's really slippery. <laughs> yes. Big hole. Nice and deep. Let's give it a go. Righto, it's Rocket's turn. Come on, Rocket, send it. <laughs> nah, he's stuck in exactly the same place as Sean, and he's spinning wheels. Nah, stuck. <laughs> That's as bad as I got. It's time for the winch again. I gave it a go. Yeah. Yep. And again, no traction until he's right the way out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a feeling about what might happen next, but let's give this a go. Slow and steady. Into the old rabbit hole we go. See what happens here. Come on. Oh, yes. Go on. Oh, he's got it. Oh, close. <laughs> yep, I'm going to need to winch here. Oh, no, the pistachios are in the water. in my car. All my socks are taking on water. It's exactly the same process. A simple winch pull up and clear of the bog with everyone stood well back for safety. Oh, okay boys. Of course, now it's Barney's turn. Let's see what he's got. Come on! Like he's made it the furthest, but he doesn't have the momentum to get out the other end. Oh, I reckon I got one more go on that. One more go. Go. On. I just don't know. I think the front's rested up on that pretty heavily. <laughs> no, we'll let him have his things. Oh, <laughs> you're not going to go forward now. Your brush blades come up. She pulled up, has she? But, <laughs> whoops. I guess Barney will be getting out of here yeah. under the power of a winch as well. Yeah. <laughs> Go Barney! Bash plate, seen better days. Now that he's up and out, Barney's got a quick bit of bush mechanics to do. Barney's taking the easy way out here, he's just going to grind that off and then stick it in the back and replace it later. We're back on the move, but not for long. Instead of hearing a splash of water through this creek, all we can hear is a loud screeching noise coming from Shawno's wheel. I was driving along and I got that noise that I think every four-wheel driver knows when you get a rock stuck in the brakes, it was squealing its head off and Rocket said, just stop, I'll uh, try and fix it. He's got a technique, mate. What is it? Well, just... first of all, we try and drive backwards really quickly and if you can't you know, separate the stone out of the brake, all you do, grab a bar, can be anything. In my case, I use a breaker bar. Put it up against the backing plate on the brake, just through the wheel, give it a good belt, you know, with a dead blow hammer or any sort of hammer. You don't have to bend it, you just got to hit it a couple of times, the stone will just simply fall out. That's so good, Best because that was, that was driving me absolutely bonkers, mate. Doesn't take and, much. And um, fix just like that. That's a good little trick, I didn't even know that one, that's good. 
pretty soon and we're up on a steep hill climb. Sean sized it up and he's going to tackle it straight away while we stand and watch. Hold on tight. Sean's concentrating hard to look and feel out for the right line. This hill is serious. There's only one bad wheel placement from tumbling back down to the bottom. It's nerve wracking just watching. Alright, here's the pinch. It's just so steep, he's not quite getting the traction he needs. <laughs> this hill is just so, so steep. My little trick is I'm going to let 4 psi out of these tyres. That way, I should get enough traction out of them to get up this hill. You see, by letting a little bit of pressure out, it'll actually lengthen the footprint and also the track of the tyre. That means these side biters here are going to grip better on this track. It should be the difference between me sitting here with the winch and driving up this hill. There we go. It really pays to just vary those tyre pressures, find the sweet spot and drive to the top. How good's that? Rocket's seen Sean tackle these ruts and now it's his turn. Let's see how he goes. He's got a lot of power driving that auto and a wealth of experience on steep tracks and it shows. It's a solid drive to the top from Rocket. Wow. He's got it. <laughs> hey! What a drive! Jeez! That's <laughs> good. Oh, yeah. Righto, it's my turn in the D-Max. Oh, we've got this. We've got this. Of course, I'm going to need to pick a good line just like those guys, but I've also got the added benefit of a bit of traction control to help me out. Yeah, look at that, the mighty D-Max comes through unfazed, blown away. That's cool. So we've done really well. Yeah, that's yeah, good. done very good. I guess I'll have a go. One Which one are you going to take, mate? Let's go. Let's reverse up. <laughs> this is a long walk. There's no pressure here, Barney. Now, of course, Barney's had the advantage of watching all of us drive this challenge. Let's see if he's remembered the correct line. I'll tell you what, fellas, that uh, looks a hell of a lot steeper now I'm at the bottom. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Yes, he's done it. Good driving all around and a great introduction to the hills of Imbal. If that hill is anything to go by, this is going to be an exciting few days. Oh, boys, I reckon that was a, a load of fun. Yeah, mate, my kind of fun too. What do you reckon now? Oh, the sun's going to be low. I reckon we um, push our way to camp. Copy that, mate. Copy that. Dare I ask? You cooking? Oh, I certainly am, mate, and I've got a cracker lined up too. If the cooking disappoints, the campsite I got picked, well, that certainly won't. Not much further, and we've reached camp. Great timing, because me and the boys are starving. I'll tell you what, it's been a big day out in the tracks in Kenilworth, and I've got the perfect meal. If you're looking for a quick slap-up meal, one pot sort of wonder meal that is super cheap and tastes great, well... I've got the answer. So follow me into the Waco, I'm going to grab out the key ingredient and that'll give away the name. 
but this one here is called sausage stew. What are you making? The old sausage stew, mate. Of course you are. So uh, I've got a variety of sausages on the go. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yep. Did you need a beer? I'm right, mate, but uh, obviously help yourself. Just got to get that heat on. Get the pot going nice. A uh, little bit of olive oil. We'll get that going. Something tells me there's not a lot of steps to this. Mate, what do you need me to do here? Do you need me to cut these What's up? That? Chop these. I'll, I'll jump in here with a knife, mate. Oh, just, uh, I'd rather you do this. Just, just ah! Hot oil! Oh, hang on. <laughs> Mia's excited now. Oh, he knows how it is. Love sausages, by Keep the way. Keep going. That's it. This is the production line. So basically what I'm trying to do is brown the sausages first. Oh. You notice the dog's popped in. You know, oh. these bigger sausages are going to cut in um, quarters. Oh. These are the chorizos. This is looking uh, quite gourmet, mate. Well, actually it's <laughs> not. Not quite, actually. No, it's looking like sausages Look. in a pan. Yep. While you're doing that, I'm going to chuck something bold here, mate. I've cut a bit of onion up Let's before you got in there. Yep. <clears throat> Right, that onion's in there nice, mate. Yeah, mate. Nice, Starting nice, to smell nice. good. Last little ingredient, you know I love this one. Garlic. Now don't be shy. I love a good bit of garlic. Oh There's, yes, yes. yes. Fair bit. Nice, nice. Fair, oh. bit, fair bit of garlic. Smell the aromas. That, that smell. It really smells good, right. I gotta say. First, first things first, mate. This one here, the old the old crushed Italian tomatoes. You've done a Contiki tour, haven't you? Like, sort of. Whoa! It's hey lads, you hey lads. Supervision or what? I'm starving. I'm just Thanks mate, yeah, give us a bit of that. Is that another one of those tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. good, good, good. Yep. No, that's good, good, that. good. This is barbecue sauce. Let's, let's call it a quarter of a cup or like a fair old squirt. So, <laughs> okay. so, so. I'll, uh, I'll stir that in. And this is because we put a fair bit of tomato in, just a tiny bit of sugar just to offset the old. Ah. That's science, mate. That is science of right the there. old tomato. So, you're probably talking about a tablespoon, I reckon. Just if we can get about a tablespoon in there. Yeah, it's not bad, you know. That's that's, that's definitely more than a <laughs> tablespoon, Robert. If everyone has one ingredient they're in charge of, this meal will come together just like yeah, just well. a few beans. They're um cannellini beans. That's they are all my ingredients. I'll Let's leave that. Leave come it. back. Oh, that's hell. All right, come back here. <laughs> I'm still watching, mate. Ooh, ah, smelling pretty good. Sausage is cooked all the way through. We've got a couple of bread rolls ready. Now it's just time to serve up. So grab a bread roll, boys. Oh, okay. This is like some sort of weird hot dog idea. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. How long have these been in the old truck, mate? Whack that in what there. Give those? me another half. I'll give you a chorizo oh, half. Would you put a bit of sauce on that other side? Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There's some flavours in there. That's a go. Look, that's, that, that is what we're talking about. It's a hearty meal. It's a hearty place too. We've got some big tracks tomorrow, so. Well that's not a romantic meal. Oh, no, no, no. It's day two of our Kenilworth adventure, and we're up and away early. We've had a bit of rain overnight, so we could be in for some fun. How good is this? There's like a maze of forestry tracks out through here. Tell you what, it's a stunning place to come out to. This morning it seems Jesse's got something in store for us. Alright, so what's this next track, mate? Oh, uh, this next track's called Ups and Downs. Ups it's, and um, Downs. Yeah. Let me let me take a wild guess, there's um fair few hills in it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you basically go downhill, up a hill well, probably okay. five or six times. Um pretty oh, steep. Right. Couple of them are rocky, couple of them rutted out, so it'd be interesting in the wet, definitely. And these hill turns are extreme within a matter of ten minutes of rain. Yeah, right, right. How good are you at running winches? Oh, I've watched a lot of people run winches for me, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get the hang of it, I reckon. Yeah, you will, mate. We might have to do it a couple of times this trip, I think. I like the sound of the ups and downs track, and I've got a feeling it's going to be quite slippery. Sean's out in front, and it's not long until he's found the up part of this track. There's a huge washout to negotiate, so he's going to need concentration here. Now, Sean has managed to straddle most of the rut, but has got held up slightly. A slight adjustment and a bit of grunt, and he's made it up. Now it's Rocket's turn. If you get your rear tyre in there, you're going to lift a big tyre. Good luck, Rocket! He 
He's also trying to straddle that rut, but he's too far to the left. Yeah, he's fallen in. All right. I think I'm on a really bad spot here right now. He's going to need another set of eyes out the front. And Sean's come back to lend a hand. Just try and creep forward a fraction and then come towards me a little bit. Rocket tries to climb out of that huge rut, but it's just not happening. He's going to need to winch here. Well, first things first, there's no getting around it, is there? There's no getting around it. All righty. This shouldn't be too difficult. You see, Sean's found a good anchor and they're ready to go. All right, I am in your capable hands, young man. Mate, when you're ready. Sean's going to stay out front and spot. You see, communication is key in a situation like this. Oh, oh, yeah. Rocket's truck is a heavy beast, but with the ability to feather the accelerator with the auto forward, you can help the winch take the load. <laughs> well done. Good on you. You're Thank on you. You're the edge of that rut by this much. <laughs> I'm good now, you, mate. See you, buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> All right, Barney and I have just hugged. I'm ready to go. Righto. I've seen what works and what doesn't from the blokes in front, so I should know what to do. Here we go. I'm trying to get that rut right between my wheels, and so far, so good. As easy as that. Good line, mate. Very good line. <laughs> it won't go, mate. It won't go. Don't know what the fuss was about. There you go, pinpoint precision. You really need to keep that back tyre out of that rut. And he made it look so, so easy. You get the line right, and it just absolutely walks up. Righto, you're up, Barney. He's going to try and do the same as me, but almost straight away, he's fallen in. However, he's not stopped. He's making progress. That's good work, mate. Keep going. That's a nice drive. Really nice drive. That was nice, mate. Well played. <laughs> yes! Let's see you make it happen. Well, we've had the up. Now we've reached the down. All right, this is a very steep downhill bit. You want to get it just right because we're turning the corner as we go down a really steep bit. Sean's asked for us to keep an eye out while he tackles this. Oh, you feel this one? Let me tell you. But he knows his truck and he knows what to do. He's down without a drama. <laughs> oh yeah. Now for the rest of us. I just gotta watch my wheel no, does it. You've done that rather well. Rocket's got this in the bag. Steep should be his middle name, coming from near the high country. Oh, here we go. That's a free ride now. <laughs> Roller coaster. All right, guide me down. As for me, I've got all the control in the world thanks to the D-Max. It's such an easy car to drive. Finally, Barney's up. Let's just say he's not the most gentle of drivers. <laughs> so this could be interesting. But he's tamed the beast and he's gently manoeuvred down this section. Easy done. That's only slightly bit spooky. As we continue along this awesome track, we receive a fresh covering of rain. This really should make things challenging, but without the rain, we wouldn't have the beauty that surrounds us. We have a go at the greenery around here. Uh, you know, this time of year, the start of autumn, we get a lot of rain, a lot of humidity, and these tracks just, it's almost like Mother Nature just tries to take over. So it's a good thing that four-wheel drivers come out here and regularly drive them. That way we keep the tracks open for everyone to enjoy. Now, what did I say about challenge? Up ahead, we've got a doozy of a climb goes straight up too. I, I don't want to stop here, I'm just going to go for it and see how far I get up. Just like that, Sean knows into it. Well, that's pretty slippery. I gave it the everything in second gear then and um, couldn't do that. Now I'm going to winch, boys. Sometimes one go is enough to realise you might need another plan and this <laughs> This is one of those times. Sean felt how slippery it is and realised he's made it to a good spot to winch. 
It's a straightforward pull up and over this steep pinch. That looks so steep. Now this is so super slippery, you get one go at this. I think Rocket might have a slight advantage over my vehicle. He's got a lot of power and that auto means he can get the power down to the ground straight away. So it's all about that first sort of 10 metres. If he gets past that, he might have the momentum to carry me all, all the way. But this stuff is just so slippery. You can't even walk on here, let alone drive it. And all that rain we've just had, he's going to have his work cut out. This is nuts. Okay, it's time to launch the Rocket. Drives you'll ever see. Now it's my turn in the D Max. Good lord, man. I carumba. Unfortunately, I had the same problem as Shauno. Not enough momentum. Nope. So it's out with the winch for me. Yeah, I think that's me. D Max yep. is in a good spot right here, and it really is quite a straightforward winch procedure. As easy as that, and I'm up. Well, we're about a fifth of the way out of this valley at the moment. We've still got, this is nothing. This may as well be flat ground. This is not even close to approximating what we've got up in front of us there. I reckon Barney will drive this. <laughs> oh. The next bit, <laughs> I think it could be a winch fest. Hope the batteries are good, but we'll send him up. We'll see how we go. Here we go. Barney certainly isn't afraid of using the loud pedal. Yeah, come on, get out of the way, big boys! What a drive. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Ha 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 ha! Woo! Oh, my goodness! Pretty excited, mate. Well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> oh, hey, Ron. That was a great one, Yours How drive was good, man. That was great. Holy heck, power down low. Go, go, go. Go, go. Yeah. Didn't back off there. That's I good. was inspired by Rod. Well, I said it before, I'll say it again. Cameron never does these hills any justice at all. It's a proper, proper steep hill. Super slippery, can't even walk on it without falling over. And I don't know where it's gonna help you, but if you can imagine, right down the bottom there is the roof of Shawno's truck. Will he make it up? He's excited. Let's bring him up. This time, you can bet Shawno's gonna get all the momentum he can muster. But that's still not enough for the next hill. That's no chance. Back out with the winch. After all, it's situations like this that make it worth only one. See ya. A short winch and Sean's ready to take on the rest under his own steam. You can really see lockers and that big suspension helping out with traction through these ruts. Oh, Woo! That was so good. That was a good ride. Oh. All right, well, we think that's spectacular. We've got Mr. Action himself coming up next. With Rocket, I never really know what to do. I always, though, feel a little bit fearful. We'll see how he goes on this one. Now, this you have to see to believe. So sit back and enjoy the drive. was an epic drive, but he's copped some damage. Got a drive for one, but I've never seen mud spit like that in my life. Oh my that was just, a drive. Just, just, How did you do that? Ran into the tree. That's nothing. 
Now, I'm going to give this a shot, and for me, it's time to take a leaf out of Rocket's book. I've got the momentum, and traction is helping me get the grip I so desperately need. Come on! Come on, get into it! Get into it! Get into it! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> I don't blame him, that was one heck of a drive. Oh my god. He, he just he did not let go. I went to the school of rocket! Yeah! Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You the what a school drive. of rocket! Yeah. Ah. I wanna have a go. What are you gonna do, mate? You gonna take it slow and steady or and mate, that's not in my blood, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean the dog excited. Yeah, everyone is. <laughs> okay, Barney's got the hill in his sights. But he's slipping, he's slipping. He's gonna take another go. This time though, full steam ahead. Central Barney. He didn't, that wasn't Barney down there. No. That was Barney at half mast. Yeah, like, when he didn't make it that first go, he thought, there's no, no, no way no. I'm not doing this. No. He, won't he go. went back, his eyes tall back in his head, and away he went. <laughs> oh, all right, oh, well, far out. that yeah. was entertaining. With those clay hills conquered, we are buzzing. I have had the most sensational day I think I could ever had. I think I bruised the car a little bit, but I've walked away with the biggest grin I'm ever going to have on my face. Certainly, I'm going to say it, the most epic drive I've ever seen coming from one rocket rod. I just had so much fun. I just love being out here doing this. Bring on the camp, bring on the beer. As we follow Sean, he leads us back to Kenilworth for a camp that he reckons is one of the best in the region. Well, boys, we're nearly at camp, and um, just wait till you get around the corner, because you'll, uh, I'm sure you'll agree, it's one of the better campsites you'll probably ever see. Have a go at that view. This place is called Kenilworth Camping Ground and is just off the main road into town. But you would think you were in total wilderness. Oh, this is pretty special. And have a look at that. He's not wrong. Pretty soon and it's all hands on deck to get set up and get the fire going. I'm going to get my awning set up and put my crash pad swag directly underneath, just like last night, and keep the rain and dew away. It's not long until everyone can crack a beer and enjoy what's left of this beautiful evening right here on the banks of the Mary River. What a day. What an evening. I can't wait to see what's in store for tomorrow. It's the morning of our final day here in Kenilworth and just like yesterday, we've woken up to a heavy dew. This is to do with the humid climate up here at the moment. Fortunately, we've been protected by thick canvas in our awnings and our swags and rooftop tents. It's just magnificent to wake up here with the sound of the river flowing, birds chirping, and the sight of rolling hills off in the distance. Seriously, have a look at this. This is stunning camping. And as far as I'm concerned, some of the best camping close to Brisbane. This is Kenilworth Camping. Pretty easy to remember. It's only $15 a night to stay here, so cheap as chips really. And you get proper river frontage on the Mary River grassy campsites, it doesn't get much better than this. Seeing as it's our last day, we want to give our campus a chance to dry off before packing it away. So we've decided to take our time this morning and cook up a hearty breakfast. We've got some locally sourced snags and eggs with beans and mushrooms on the side. Doesn't get much better. This should set us up for a great day on the tracks. Well, that's a raw egg, dude. Well boys, I reckon that's one of the better campsites I've um, been to in South East Queensland. 100% mate, 100%. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, I've got to tell you, it's one of the best spots I've been to in Queensland. Yeah, pretty good mate. I reckon um, 
We hit these mountains up behind us though. The good thing about this spot here is it's so close to the tracks. We'll um, reckon tackle some tough stuff today. What do you reckon? Hell yeah, mate. I'm totally up for that. Bit more mud, bit more water, a lot more fun. We've got a couple of uh, little creek crossings coming up. Really tropical in the, the way in which they're really crystal clear and shallow. Yeah, mate, and it'll take us down to a little water hole, so we might even get out and have a swim if you can. The Imbil State Forest has many little creeks that run through the valleys, just like this one. This crossing is no problem. With shallow water and a firm base, it's just a simple drive through, keeping that bow wave in front. Now, if you spend any time in a state forest, you're bound to come across an obstacle just like this one up ahead. Ooh, ooh. Hey, uh, boys, we've got a tree across the track. Yep, it looks like it's blocking the whole thing. Might have to get out and have a look. Might have to winch this one out. Well, that's a sizable log. It's actually bigger than I thought, too. Yeah, I get told that a lot. No, it's talking about the tree. Oh, the tree? Yeah, the yeah. The tree, no. the tree, no. If we attach a cable to the far end here and use leverage and science, I mean, you got, you got 500 kilos of tree, three tonne of truck. The science says to me we should be able to move that. We'll give the winch a workout, eh? So that's the plan. While Sean o manoeuvres his truck into a better position, I get the Go winching in. gear ready. I've placed a tree trunk protector around the far end of the trunk and we've attached a winch hook to that. You'll also notice that I've placed the winch blanket on there for safety and we're all stood well back. Okay, let's give this a go. Yes, it's working. Though this tree is no match for the winch and pretty quickly the track is clear. That worked an absolute treat, and it really all came down to putting the vehicle in the right position and attaching the strap right to the end of the branch, right down the very end, so you get maximum leverage. And of course, now that we've cleared this out of the way, not only can four-wheel drivers use it, but should anyone in emergency services need to come here, lickety-split in a bushfire or something like that, it's out of the way and they don't have to waste time cutting it up. It's a good thing. We're able to squeeze around the fallen tree and descend this track. However, once we reach the valley, the only way out will be to ascend another steep climb. Right. On hills like this, it's best to go one at a time. Sean's first, and we've jumped out to support him if he needs it. About halfway up, and there's a protruding log to go around, which could prove problematic. Ah, yeah, Sean's truck suddenly started to slide towards the log. He wants to avoid panel damage, so he's going to give it another shot. I got the wrong line. On there. No, no, same again. That off canvas slope is pushing him towards the log again. One more go. Try and stay hard up here. Third time lucky and nice drive. But that's just the start. Look what's ahead. There's no time for hesitation here. It's do or die. There we go, second gear on that one. A lot of dancing around. I feel like a hippopotamus with roller skates. This is wild. <laughs> That's a proper hill. Proper what do you reckon? <laughs> I reckon up this back, reverse going. Yeah. Yes. More. Well, I'm, I'm keen to give it a go. That's great. I reckon we, uh, we get danger mouse up. One more. one more dummy test dummy. Yeah, let's do that. Now it's Rocket's turn. Having an auto on hills like this is such a bonus. I can't state that enough. Rocket is not holding back. It's just total commitment, never backing off.
but then suddenly he's into a rut and a bad position. Whoa! If he rolls back at all, he'll tip. This is pretty intense. He needs help and help right now. What's happening? No reversing under any circumstance. Why is that? I have a feeling you'll go over. You've got a very large hole there. Oh, oh. Sick dry, that was great. No, oh, take it back. You, don't back can, you don't reckon I can do it? No, nah, nah, you, you stay here and we win, winch from here. You we'll get you up and you can have another go. You can go forward, oh, but you can't go back. Don't, don't go back. Rod, however, knows his truck and he knows that he won't roll back with that auto. Yeah, but I don't think it'll drive. No, when we winch, I mean, we'll winch your car like Winch it here and you Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Now, watch, watch that. Yeah, cool. Now, which way from here, though? Yeah, I'm here. Do you want me to go drive. across to the left? Or stay in or go over to the left, you reckon? Up the left? Yeah. All right. Look at that. The rocket's got this. What a drive, all the way to the top, mate. That is amazing. Good yes. Wow! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're beautiful! <laughs> what do you think of that? Mate, I've got my heart in my mouth. Every time Rocket drives that thing, the sound and Stuff. his commitment. Holy oh, heck. He's more committed than me today. What about Graham? He's up next. He's not as committed as anyone. <laughs> like he's I, in that truck, he'll be right. I've seen the other guys and I've seen the two spots they've had problems. I'm gonna try my best to avoid them. Low range, second gear in manual. Traction control on and of course that obstacle, number one done. Now for the rutted section. I don't know how I did that. It's all about line here, and I've got a plan. Yes, I made it. Can drive. Now for Barney. I do not know about this tree. I do not know about this hill. But I know you can take me anywhere. Anywhere your heart desires. See, Barney's had the benefit of watching everyone else and spending time picking out his own line. Yeah, he's past the log. Now for that top section. Oh. Bouncy roll, Betty. On the up, 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 elbow. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Stay on this line. Oh, a tree in the face. What an animal. What a showman. Excellent drive by Barney. Good work, mate. Woo! Yeah! What a cracking morning on the tracks. This afternoon, Sean's got plans to take us out to a magic little spot called Bulumba Creek Waterhole. The waypoint is in the VMS, but to get there, we've got a few more tracks to explore. You know what I often get asked, what do I prefer? The older four-wheel drives or these more modern ones? Well, look, back in the day, I definitely would have said, and I still own, an older four-wheel drive, because look, they're a lot of fun to drive out on the tracks, but as I get older, I've learned a thing or two. Something these modern four-wheel drives, like my D-Max, have got over their older counterparts, of course, is comfort. Take this for example, I've got air conditioning, power steering, I've got super comfy seats, I've got all the mod cons. And it really is super easy to drive and like I said, extremely comfortable. But you don't have to sacrifice fun for comfort. I'm able to go everywhere that the bigger lifted trucks and older trucks are able to go. Speaking of which, feast your eyes on that. Up ahead we've got a seriously wet and slippery clay hill climb. What do you reckon? Mate, there is two types of mud in this world. Dirty, dank, stinky mud. The type of mud you find at the bottom of puddles. The type of mud that you get all over your truck, you wash it off when you go home. Then yeah, there's this mud. It's Zero awful. traction. Negative go up the hill kind of mud. Can't even walk on a kind of mud. <laughs> I don't reckon any of us have got a hope in heck it. of driving what is an absolutely moderate hill. However, one thing is for sure. We are all going to have bloody good time trying. <laughs> Bring on Shawnee. Come on. 
You ready? I think we all know what Sean's approach to this is going to be. Yeah, that's right. Second gear low, and go, go, go. Got the foot firmly planted on the loud pedal. Uh -huh. Alright, that steep pinch has finally halted his progress. <laughs> that is one solid effort, man. You see that rod? <laughs> Just put two and I'll go back onto them so I can get a good run up. But we've already got another plan. So I'm just right under the back tyres yeah. and then guide me back so yeah, I'm... Yeah. Yeah. We've got here the max tracks are just under the tyres. I've actually reversed or backed up onto these max tracks so I can take off from something with a bit of traction. I've got the other one in the front That's right. and look, that one. if I can get another metre or two we'll reset, give it a go. But I'm going to drive this on my own steam. Okay, here we go. Yes! Wow, that's incredible. The match tracks propel Sean forward, but he's losing traction again. Suddenly, Jesse comes out of nowhere. He's picked up a match track and thrown it back under the wheels. <laughs> How good's that? couple of goes on the max tracks and um, yes drove that one on my own steam with a little help <laughs> that as I suggested is one heck of a hill it's not steep in fact it's nothing but that red clay it's like the crab track as soon as it gets a bit of water on it forget it you can grease your bearings with it <laughs> what I've been looking forward to okay here he comes contestant number two We've left the match tracks in place, but Rocket's come slightly offline and he's missed them completely. Stay on the track, Rocket! He's missed the match track. <laughs> he's going to adjust and go again. This time he's right on tape. Pumped is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, rocket! We can't wait to see this, mate. Fire away. Okay. Let's give it a go. I've got the revs up and I'm heading on up. You can see I'm turning the steering wheel side to side to find any additional traction I can get. I'm trying to head straight for the max tracks, but it's just so slippery. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm on the money and I hit the max tracks just at the right time. Yeah! <laughs> Good on you, Barney. He gets so excited. I love it, bro. That's the best. Ah, uh, this little rig. What a beast. <laughs> Here I come, boys. Here we go! Mario! Barney's got his foot to the floor and he's coming up at a rate of knots. Come on. Back in those ruts. Give me some ruts. He aims for the max tracks, but he slips and only just manages to clip them. But it's enough. Oh! Woo! And we've all made it up the hill. Oh, Drifton City! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Woo! Yeah, boy! Oh, oh. I can room for you. Oh, what a drive! That was a great hill. That's a good hill. Oh, oh. up and on. Who's going first? How much fun is that? Mud, pedal to the metal sort of driving. Doesn't get much better. In fact, it sort of does. Uh, there's a tough little water hole, we'll go check it out and um, we'll go for a swim too. If you just said water hole, then put it in fifth gear, buddy. I just figured we need to take Barney down there so he can wash off. Yeah, mate, all dogs need a wash off, they've been playing in the mud. 
from Barn Dog needs one badly. Ah. It's a short drive south to Balumba Creek, which is situated in Conondale National Park. We park up, take the foot, and walk in to find probably one of the most perfect and inviting looking waterholes you'll find anywhere. This place is simply magic and a welcome reward for the tough driving we've been doing for the last few days. Well, I don't know about you bikes, but Kenilworth. It's pretty good. How good is it, eh? Brilliant. I've never been here before, never been to this part of the world. Yep. I'm blown away by it. What the heck was that? Some Sorry. of the best four-wheel driving you'll see. These mountains are just full of tracks, like a network of tracks. We had Jesse here to show us around, and I reckon, Absolutely. mate, you've done a top job. Well done, Jesse. Well done. Yeah. About 20% of the tracks around here, and there's a heck of a lot more good ones. <laughs> if, this is, if this is any indication of what the place is like, 100% oh, the camping, the camping, oh, the the swimming yeah. holes, yeah. there's yeah. heaps to do. There's a kick ass ba uh, bakery in town. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Folks, I'm definitely coming back to the Kenilworth region. I don't reckon I've even touched what's available out here. And a bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> behind me. Folks, I guarantee if you come out this way, you're going to have some of the best four-wheel driving you'll do ever. And then the attractions around here, not to mention the camping, sublime. Get to Kenilworth, so you might weird. see us here, you might not. But you'll see us all together on Ford of oh, Action! Woo! Yes, they're, good. they're really good. <laughs> <laughs>